Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're RJ Gaming, and you're here with me, Ryan. And me, Jordan. As we continue with Bayek of Siwa. Now, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get regular updates to any of our new and upcoming videos. Now, fingers crossed, all the technical difficulties that were experienced in the last video are all over, and now with this next and all the future videos, we can get back to the fun in all of its proper depth and the full immersive experience. Now for this one today, we're here doing the quest A Gift From The Gods, which I think is a Final Fantasy crossover. Not entirely too sure how or in what way, so we're gonna investigate this uh, it was a part of an update not too long ago as like an extra quest so we're here so we've left Giza, Giza's back there with the pyramids the pyramids do look a bit weird though I'll be honest they do not look right Um, then we've got Memphis over there which is where we will the next main quest line um, video that we will be uploading will be over there. However, we're going to do this quest over here. And Ooh. that was Oh, you didn't hurt yourself, I'm very surprised. Ooh. Maybe we can jump all the way down and not die. This might be a first. Oh my god. They might have made it so in the distances that you you jump on those are exactly <laughs> the thing so you don't hurt yeah. yourself on purpose. Just perfect. For bike not to break every ankle <laughs> or both ankles i should say not every yeah, ankle yeah he only has two <laughs> that is a very good point <laughs> now we did have a tomb back there with that pyramid and oh sorry ran into a rock there and I, I would say these pyramids that are coming up um oh meteors um, I would say these pyramids as well, these small pyramids are also tombs, so we're going to be covering those in a separate channel, in a separate video, sorry. The last channel would be really pointless that. So let's just, let me discover it. Just to double check that it is a tomb. No, you'd have to climb, have to climb up. up it. Well, it's definitely a tomb. There's definitely no stone circle inside of a pyramid. That's for sure. I mean, it would be very weird. I mean, you can't exactly see the night sky inside of a pyramid, can you? Nope. Almost there now. Maximus is doing a good job of... Speeding up. Carrying us over there. <laughs> Speeding up the travel. Definitely. Oh, we're starting just on the side of a cliff. Yep. Well, this should be interesting. Yeah, don't try and... Um, Crash Maximus into the cliff though. No, because we love Maximus. Okay, what we get? Nothing like a dramatic meteor strike, eh? Let us track this. Is Maximus still there? Mm -hmm. Doesn't mm -hmm. look like it. This guy hurt. Ooh, that did hurt. <laughs> Yeah, that took away quite a bit of health. Yeah. <laughs> Let's investigate the crash side. Now you see, I think... See, originally the quest had a gold exclamation mark. I think those are the quests that get added in is extra whereas the white ones so like there's a white one there i think those are the side quests that are added in with the base game and then the gold ones are ones that have been added in as like a, a extra. subsequent yeah update oh shiny rock oh the fireball has revealed an entrance to this tomb I say, can we interact with the, the A large stone glowing blue that fell to earth from the sky. A fallen star. Oh, that's dark. Could this 
be referring to a sundial. Oh, we're gonna have to do more puzzling. Yeah. This number seems important. Fifteen seems important. Perhaps. Right, so we've got to go back outside to go and look at the sundial outside. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go have a look at the sundial. Exploration area. Oh, I don't need that one, no. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's arrows there for some reason. Sold the sundial. This must be the sundial that was depicted in the tomb. Let's climb up the sundial to see if that gives any perspective. Come. Oh, we've got do we have to of fix of the arms? How do you mean fix the arms? Well, on the other one, there was like arms out. The what thick, like thicker bits out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Where's the sun shining with this central thing that way? Because it was pointing at that one. So it was that one. Oh, so I'll just move the bar so you better. So it was that one, that one, and that one. Mm. So. So it's an exploration area. So maybe search for stuff and see if anything. I mean, that thing you might be able to break it. Like that. Yeah. I think we might have to wait and let the sundial move. Wait. Uh, hopefully, it'll take us to the time we need. Yeah, fingers uh -huh. crossed. But I mean, we're in the middle of the night now, so. Yeah, that's Ooh. not. I mean, it still kind of works. Mm -hmm. and I feel like that sundial looks like it's moving a lot faster than I thought it would do. But I mean, it looked like there was. Can you climb up with this? See, it kind of looks like they've got something inside of them. Let's wait until it gets to this one and see if it does anything. Mm-hmm. Just gotta casually wait for the sundial to move. Come on, son. See, I don't know whether the moon counts, to be fair. I mean, wherever mm -hmm. the moon is, all the... It's behind the clouds. Behind the clouds, yeah. It's not really doing a good job behind of actually shining. Behind the clouds. Bike's probably thinking, wow, this is amazing waiting. Because <laughs> I don't know how to make it sort of wait more specifically yeah. in time. So then it gets to where you want it to be. Yeah. Don't have like a Skyrim wait one hour kind of uh, option. No. But we're getting there. Yeah. Halfway across. I feel like it is moving a lot faster than you'd expect it to be. Definitely a lot faster than it would in real life. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Bags even looking at the scenery. Oh look, it's coming out now. <laughs> Shall we shoot at the moon? Do we think? I mean, you can try, but I feel like your arrow might not uh, reach. Yeah, far totally enough. reached. That totally reached. <laughs> Hundred percent, I think that reached. Almost there. Almost. It's a big moment. See if anything happens. Please do something. If not, it might have to be actual daytime. Sunlight. Which I mean, I don't really know why it would need to be, because surely it would just work because there's a shadow there. Yeah. You know, sunlight's only going to generate a shadow as well as. Yeah, but it might be part of the game. Maybe. Oh, it's getting there. Yeah, maybe a bit more. There we go, it's there. Do we need to be on top of it? I have no idea. Okay. 
Is there not like other things that we might need to find? Yeah. There's nothing that comes up on. Yeah, but I feel yeah, like this. If you could go down there. That's the arrows. Oh, okay. That's all that is. But I mean, I feel like it was quite a big exploration area. And we couldn't wait until sunrise. Unless it's got to be this one first, maybe. If you wait. But we could wait until morning and see if it does yeah, need I was to just be the sun. Go have another look at the. Oh, hello, Maximus. Just gonna have another look at this, see if it. So it. So it's that one, that one, and that one. Yeah. Which I think is the ones we were pointing at. Yeah. I think maybe, like I say, we've just gotta do that one first, maybe. Mm. I mean, but it looks like we can interact with the 15. This number seems important. Just says that it's important. Mm. I mean, I think it's because it's meant to be a crossover with Final Fantasy XV. Yeah. Like, that's just to sort of say which specific... Um... Oh, torch. <laughs> that yeah, torch right. that you threw away. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, oh there's hyenas. Lots of hyenas. And they're surrounded by loot. That looks like a gigantic snake that they've killed. I mean, there are quite a few of them. Ooh, one flew there. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Giant snake. Yeah, let's, let's wait till morning then, let's see if that makes any difference. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it doesn't go too far. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's doing something. There's there's stuff in them. Go get Do we maybe need to shoot them? Do you maybe not need to go collect them? It is reacting. Mm -hmm. Looks like you need to shoot them by the looks of it. You said it was reacting. Yeah, when I shot at it, so... Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much you need to shoot at it. Can you go and touch it? Are those fire arrows? Oh, oh there, there we go. go. Just had to hit them enough times. Yeah. I didn't even check to be fair, I don't know if the sundial was in line or not. Light's shining up to the gods. By Ra. What have I done? I've broken the world by Ek. I should check the tool. Dun dun dun. I'm sure it'll be fine, we'll fix it again. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Lots of blue fire. Oh. Snazzy. Oh, we're having to walk slowly as we walk towards what looks like a person behind glass. Oh, that looks weird. They kind of look like they're floating. Yeah. Get electrocuted. Because, you know, they suddenly have electricity. That's, yeah, to hide from your problems, by it. I think they're hiding from the person. Yeah. Now I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, so I have no clue who that is. That looks like a big ass sword. Oh, and a... Um, Pretty cool. Is it a metal dragon? I'm not too sure. Now, like I said, I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, so I'm not entirely sure what that was. <laughs> what that all meant, but that is one big ass sword. It's like the same size as him. Yeah. 
I'm not surprised he's like struggling to lift it up. The bike's like, hell yeah! Look at this cool stuff! Oh, and it's all legendary. Oh, and, and we've like got a qua. Qua, and no. Let's go have a look see what qua is. Let's have a look at the gear. If we go on the mount. Let's go have a look see. Is it better than the sword that I was using? The ultimate blade. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it. I suppose it, that was... Was that the sword I was using? Yeah, because it's level 23. So... Yeah, it, yeah, it does more like damage. It. And I assume this will definitely give me more HP. Yeah, yeah it does. Definitely. So, shall we change Maximus into whatever the hell that is? <laughs> looks like a bird. Let's bring it up, let's go. Ooh. Yeah, is it this way? Yeah. yeah. This way. Towards the yellow light, not the blue. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get lost in the blue light, Bayek. Slide. Let's just see how Maximus has changed. Here he comes. Uh, well, he's... Oh. Uh, well. Th it's an interesting look for you, Maximus. It's very different. <laughs> it is very different. I mean, you're not a camel anymore, that's for sure. Yeah, but I feel like it does look quite cool. Shall we keep Maximus this way? For a little bit. You know, with his little bushy tail. Look at that bushy tail. <laughs> well, there we go. So, that's how we... Uh, I mean, we're not 100% sure. I think you just had to have it on the sunlight. And roughly have the sundial lined up with one of the three pillars. That were sort of pointed out inside the tomb with the thicker bar but there's that quest and some new legendary gear acquired and um, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one thank you for watching bye, bye.